Hello everyone, Link here, welcome back to the channel. So as some of you guys might know, I've had a job trying to electrify my scooter, which means I've had to wrap my head around the chains, the gears and the derailers. So during this process, I've had to take my chain off, remove links, put it back on, more times than what I can count on my fingers. So I've had to figure out a way to make sure that this chain's getting linked up properly because the specific tool that I'm using actually will not fit the chain in if the pin is pushed all the way out. So I've come up with this nice little tip and trick that you guys can use as well, and it works pretty well. So let's go take a look. So when you get a new chain, it usually comes like this, unless you decide to go for something like a quick link, where basically you get a little attachment that goes over the top and you basically press it in. But with these ones, they use pins. So usually what I do when I'm trying to get these back together, I line it up. And as you can see, if I was to stick this in my tool, it just will not fit. So what I do is grab a pair of pump pliers, stick them on the smallest setting, make sure that it's completely square, and make sure I'm holding that completely central and just give it a nice tight squeeze. And there you go, it's gone through the majority of the way. So now I'll show you how to put it through the rest of the way. So from this point, you can either use your little tool to push that pin all the way back in, but if you don't have one of them, you can do this. So I've got myself a big M10 nut right here, so I can lay my chain over the top, and that gives this pin room to, get, uh, to be pushed all the way through. So usually what I do is I grab myself a nice little screwdriver, and this one is a specifically a Torx. Hold it over the top, try and get it central, and just give it a tap. And it will slowly go in. And there you go, the chain link is now been put back in and it still works perfectly. So that is definitely an interesting tip and I definitely thought it was worth sharing. And if you're having a little bit of problems like I was, you could just get a few more nuts or whatever you're using to raise your chain up and just spread it across the chain. So that means a whole section of it is gonna be risen and the chance of the chain slipping is gonna be uh, minimized. So I thought this was really cool because you're able to take chains apart and put them back together without the need of any specialist tools. And if you decide to take that pin back out, you can use this method, but just make sure that you're being careful because there is still a chance that you can ruin your chain. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you later.